Red is as bright and optimistic as ever. Green was overflowing with confidence and radiance. Just like before, I was always chasing after them. The relationship between the three of us hadn't changed at all. Back then, I believed those days would last forever. You want to trade away Evie? Why? This one was the one who got along best with Radicate. Ever since Radicate died, she has stopped battling. That's because... to release her would be... I want to be the strongest trainer. I have no interest in a Pokémon that won't fight. Even if those are your true feelings, don't say such things in front of your Pokémon! Radicate was poisoned and unable to be treated in time. Green wouldn't tell me anything more than that, but I knew that they were doing their utmost. All the while, Evie's heart and body continued to weaken. She's been in a phase of REM sleep for a long period. It seems like she's constantly dreaming. This might be a protective instinct to guard her heart against excessive stress. This type of hypersomia is rarely seen in Pokémon, but potentially, it could be the result of Evie's sensitivity to environmental change. Can you cure her? We will provide her with nourishment via drip infusion, but as the cause of this condition is unique to each case, there is no uniform treatment. What's really needed is for the root of her stress to be removed. The root? As I thought, this is about Radicate. Yes. After she left Green's party, my actions drove Evie to depression. I tried contacting the professor, but he must be in a meeting or something. Red, how did you get that injury? That was... the story of a battle and an evil I had never experienced. One that involved the Mafia group Team Rocket and the Pokémon headhunting incident that occurred in Lavender Town. That's also why I'm looking after this guy as well. Red, behind you! <laughs> Pikachu! Pika! Found you, Brett. There's no getting away this time. Red! They came as far as the Pokemon Center to find me. Sorry, Blue. I need to crush these punks. Pikachu! I didn't know. No. Rather, I didn't sense it. That this world isn't one made up of only sunshine and rainbows. Bad people, bad things, the people and Pokémon that fall victim to them, bloodshed and scars. These things have always existed beside us. Everyone has been hospitalized. All because I didn't take them to the Pokémon Center to recover. All because I allowed them to fight until they were injured. So what if we won? What can I even say for myself? I'm... I'm not fit to be a Pokémon trader. Uh, I think that... Wait! What do you want? That's cold green. As he is, Red may give up on being a Pokémon trainer. And despite fighting together, you're just going to leave without saying anything? I think you're misunderstanding something. We both launch attacks on Team Rocket for different reasons. Red was battling for the sake of justice. But for me, it was just training. And in any case, it's natural for Pokémon to get injured in battle. Why is he getting all down now? But this wasn't an ordinary battle! It's the same as any other. Good and evil don't exist in battle. There's only the weak and the strong. What are you on about? Take that idiot feeling sorry for himself over there. 
He was moved by the emotions of Pokemon and mixed himself up in their affairs without permission. To be used by a Pokemon's emotions is to be weak. Strength is the opposite. It's to be unaffected by a Pokemon's emotions. No. It is to be able to use a Pokemon's full potential for the sole purpose of winning. That is the only value by which a Pokemon trainer should be measured. Green, were you aware that Eevee has hypersomnia? Eevee has been in a deep sleep since the day you traded her to me. I was told the cause is stress and that there is no cure. So please, tell me. It makes me feel sick inside. To watch you seal up your true feelings like this. What value did you, the person who pushed Eevee to such a state, have? I had no value. Just like that pathetic red. The me that wasn't able to use Eevee had no value. Value is something you have to make yourself. And my value will be power. It was then I realized that there is no such thing as something that never changes. <laughs>